Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a six by six puzzle today. Not only that, a six by six puzzle that was sent to us by somebody saying, I know you've had some very difficult puzzles to do on the channel lately. I hope this will be a bit easier, which is great, except then you learn that this is oddly even writing. Oddly even's bar for easy puzzles is probably a little higher than yours or mine. Um, we'll see how easy it is. Um, I believe it's very good, but we shall see about that too. This is called Thing, and we'll go through the rules in a moment. There's anti-quadruple circles, and, and there are doublers. So not quite the straightforward puzzle you thought you would see, you're seeing on the screen at the start. Um, we will have a look at that in a moment. First of all, don't forget our Patreon reward. Uh, September's is the Lines and Shapes sudoku pack we highly recommend it uh, join us on patreon two dollars a month is enough to get you all the extra content well three dollars gets you the uh, solution videos to the monthly rewards as well so a lot of people do like to see those just to get extra videos of us solving puzzles and to see what paths they should have taken but um yeah sometimes they have better paths than we have that's perfectly valid now uh, there's also our apps, don't forget them, big stable of apps, check them out, loads of different sorts of puzzles, not many six by, not any six by sixes in those, uh, even in the gas apps, the genuinely approachable Sudoku, but there are plenty of puzzles that you can definitely have a go at. And there's all our merch and Sven Sudoku pad and so on, on the links under the video. But the first link is to this puzzle in our software. Now, I say in our software, it's rendered into our software from... Uh, the form in which Oddly even sent it to us. And these black cells circles have come out a little oddly, but since they are legible, I'm going to leave them. I don't have a, a method of writing in white on a black circle. So the people who do and who then convert into our software, um, and then I then convert that into our version of our software, and it ends up like this. At least it's legible. I don't have to change it further. The rules are these. We're placing one to six in each row, column, and marked region. So normal Sudoku rules, if your normal Sudoku is six by six. One cell in each row, column, and box is a doubler. The value of this cell counts as double its digit for the other rules. Here come the other rules. Uh, no, not quite. Each digit appears once in the set of doublers. So there'll be a one, a two, a three, a four, a five and a six in some sort of placement like that. So there's one in each row, column and box that is the doubler. Um, now, digits along an arrow, sum to the value in that arrow's circle, the value. So values along an arrow, sum to the value in that arrow's circle. Um, digits in a black circle must not appear as values in the surrounding four cells. For example, a black circle containing a four excludes from these four cells both a regular four and a doubled two, but it doesn't exclude doubled four, which is, of course has the value of eight. That is a fascinating rule. Um, do give it a try here. I haven't done an exclusionary doublers puzzle before, I don't think, but I'm looking forward to giving this a go. We'll see how it plays. Um, it's on the first link of the video. I am going to restart my clock and say, let's get cracking. So... Yeah, I mean, box one is utterly impossible unless the doubler rule is in force. I don't even see how it works with the doubler rule. Hang on, let me think this through. Three, I mean, if this had no doubler in it, I'm going to use red for doublers and green for non-doubled cells. Imagine this was a box with no doublers in it. This box, this, this black circle is saying that three, five and six have to be excluded from those cells. So they would all have to pack into here, but that's only two digits. So this would be impossible if it was all green. I mean, we know it's not all green, but we know why now, or we know how to analyze it. Three, there's only one doubler. So two of these numbers do have to be off this two by two. So two of those numbers are on this arrow. And, no, I was gonna say, and they don't include the doubler. Okay, I know that they don't... 
Now I don't know that they don't include the doubler, do I? These are from, th no, they don't. Right, the other one of three, five, or six that does sit around this circle is the doubler. That's how it gets to be there because it's doubling its value. So it's, no so it's not double three because that would double its value to be a six, which is not allowed to be around this circle. So one of these is definitely a three. Now I think, ah, oh, no, the, the, the interesting way of knowing what these two are is considering what goes in here, because these are non-doublers. The doubler is in this group. We've just worked that out. So these are non-doublers. So we're taking their genuine values and they add up to eight, nine, or 11. How, this can't contain obviously an eight, nine, or 11 because we're using one to six. It's gonna contain a doubler. It's gotta contain a double four because only one of eight, nine, or 11 is even. So that is a four. That is the doubler. That lets us color a lot of cells not doubler in the same row, column, and box. Um, so the doubler in box one is in one of those two cells. These two add up to eight to make the doubled four. So that's three and five. The doubler in box one is a six. Ah, there's also a four to go in box one in a, in a regular green cell, and that must also be in these two cells. So that is a six, four pair, a red six and a green four. And this is a two, one pair. These are three, five, and six. What is this doing? So we've used, okay, so those are green because we've had the doubler in column one somewhere up here. One of these is red. Now, do we have to think about this arrow next or is there something else? Now, this cell is not allowed to have one or two around it. And they're all genuine digits, so it's a genuine... Genuinely, these can't be one or two. Oh, that's interesting, right. In this column, where do one and two go? They go here and here. This is a 3-5 pair. In fact, that 3-5 pair can't appear here. We can do some normal Sudoku on the digits. So the 3-5 pair has to go there. This is a 3-5-6 triple. So these are from, this is weird, this puzzle. These are from 1-2-4. Now, my instinct says that obviously the circle will be the doubler, but We've had double four in this puzzle already. So the doubler is gonna be a double two or a double one. And that, that means it doesn't have to be in the circle. What on earth is happening here? Four, four could be a genuine green digit here. Then you couldn't have double two here, but you could have double one with a two here. That's weird. You can have a green four, a red one, and a green two. Or, yeah, no, not another double one. No, that's okay. Now, alternatively, I think there is an alternative. This could be, yeah, this is gonna have to have a value of four, isn't it? Because if it only had a value of two, or even one, these would break it. Because they've got to be at least a one and a two as digits. And if either of them were doubled, it only gets higher. This has a value of four, but I don't know whether it's double two or a single four. If it's a single four, this is the doubler. It's a double one and that's a two. That's what we've sketched in. If this is a double two, well, that's a one and this is a four. And that, that is not going to work. Yeah, that's not gonna work because double two is four. And if you're adding four, a green four and anything else, you break it. So this is not double two. This is a regular green four. What a strange puzzle. This is a double one, has to be. And this is a regular green two. Yes, it can't be another doubler. So that's a two. This is Sudoku now. Hurrah. Um, now, I was going to say we mustn't put six on here. 
so this is going to be 6, but I doubt that that is a valid conclusion. I don't really know. I'm getting very confused. Yes, that is a valid conclusion because we've got, well, we, we don't know exactly where it is, but we know the doubler up here is double six. It can't be double four because that's here. The doubler up here is double six. Therefore, in this box, the doubler is not a six. The six is a green digit, a genuine digit, it mustn't sit around there, so it's here. These are from 1, 3, 4, and 5. That's not a 6. In fact, we can place 6 in that box now. These are from 1, 3, and 5, but we mustn't have a doubled 3. We do need a doubled something. So it's got to be a doubled 5. Look, we've had double 6, double 4, and double 1 in the puzzle. We're not allowed to double 2 in this box. And we're not allowed to double three around this black circle because of the six. So we're going to double five in this box. And that means in these two boxes, we're going to double three and two. But the doubler is here in this box, in one of those cells, and it can't therefore be a three. So we must be doubling two in this box, in one of those two. The two can't be there. And in this box, we're going to double three somewhere. Such an odd puzzle. Um, I love it, by the way. It's really interesting. We're going to double three. I'm going to have to approach this in a moment. We've got a double three somewhere in the box. Now, let's do a bit of Sudoku. Look, with a two in one of those, I can actually disambiguate six and two. That's a three, five, six set. These are from one, two, four. That can't be six. Right, so the digits up here are something from one and four and something from three and five but if it was a three it's a doubler i don't have got i have not got a scooby-doo what to do with this yet i need to think about it very carefully still got a bit of this four clue to fulfill maybe that's how i should now, I don't know. Um, so we've got a doubled three. Now that cannot go on the arrow. The doubler can't be on the arrow because if it was, it would double up to six. There'd be another digit on the arrow and this could only be a single. So no, those are genuine digits. But we need a doubler in this column. Aha! There is the doubler. It's a double three. This is now not a doubler by the rule about there only being one doubler in each row, etc. So we can do the six and the four. The three is disambiguated, five and three. These have to make up six. And I still don't know whether they're one, five or two, four. These are all green. Oh, I've still got to sort out all this stuff. That's become a five, though. That might be helpful. This is one or four. This is two or five. Now. Right, there it is. We cannot... Have, there, in this box, there is a genuine green four. It can't go there by Sudoku, and it can't go here by the anti-quadruple rule, so it must go here. So this is a 4-2 pair making the 6. And here we go, I think, we're, I think we're almost done now. No, we're not almost done. Yes, we are, because we know that 2 goes here. 2 in this box had to be the doubler, I remember that. That's green, these are green, that's green, this is red, this is where the doubler goes here, which is a 5. That must be a one now. And we can do three, five, three, five. What a brilliant puzzle. This is so clever. I love it. I mean, it's not very hard. What's the time? About 11 minutes there. 
But that's so clever. That's so neat. It's such a good introduction to doublers. And, well, and to anti-quadruples. And, and clues acting on values rather than on digits. Because that's really fascinating. You do have to think your way through that very carefully but all the clues are there it's small enough that it's linear you you kind of have to work out the next the right next step because there's just nothing else to go on and that looked so weird at the beginning that it was a lovely starting point really clever thank you oddly even for sending that do feel free to send us your uh, your puzzles that you know have a little feature but aren't that hard because we they really make entertaining videos i mean that's the facts Okay, thank you for watching, and um, we'll be back with more tomorrow, of course. See you then. Bye for now.